Good morning. Day 130. We have left Little Pond Rock Shelter and we are headed north. Where? We're not sure yet. We thought we were going to do about 20 today, but we think there might be some stealth sites around 17 and we might go ahead and do that because we're all pretty tired. Um, poured down rain last night, probably from like 8 to 10, I think. So, I guess it was a good thing we were in the shelter. Looks to be a great day today, hopefully. No, no rain in sight and the sun's out. So, hopefully maybe we'll get to see some pretty views. The trail is still wet and muddy and rocky. All right, coming <clears throat> up to this bridge here. I mean, it's pretty well constructed, but you can see from all the debris here how high the water was when we had all that rain not too long ago, but it's pretty good right now, but holy cow, a lot of debris. We're seeing a ton of erosion on the trail. My goodness, so much rain in Vermont and Massachusetts. But it's going to be a beautiful day today, so we're going to enjoy it. And I think there are several days where there is no rain in the forecast, so hopefully that helps dry out the trail a little bit. Yeah. So Vermont has a mix of old and new shelters, but what's really nice is there's space about five or so miles apart. So I'm glad we did decide to stay in the shelter because that storm blew through pretty hard, hard rain, pretty, pretty strong winds. But another good thing is I'm carrying a dry tent today. So, but today we're going to try to find a stealth spot and Hopefully the ground is firm enough where we can find a place to put a tent. But kudos to Vermont for their shelters. And at that particular spot, there was a caretaker. And so the privy was in pretty good shape as well. So this little spot right here is called the Rock Garden. really pretty part of the trail it's lush green and then they get these small little yellow mushrooms that stand out there's moss everywhere in these pine forests This is White Rocks Junction. You can sign for it. Well, we're almost 12 miles in, and this is our first view of the day. It's a small little airport in the distance. Still lots of rain clouds in the area. It's supposed to be just probably cloudy, mostly sunny.
0.3 off trail to a little farm store that we read has ice cream and other treats. What is it? Maple seltzer. Oh, you Carbonated should... maple syrup. Carbonated maple syrup. You're true at it, huh? It's good. It's good? So the farm stand is a really cute little store. They have homemade um, sourdough bread that was made this morning. They've got like produce in here. Also chocolate milk and cheese and salami, all local. And maple seltzer, which Blue is on his second. He says it's delicious. Matthew's getting one right now. They have like granola and just even have like some hiker stuff like Cenoc bags, dehydrated meals, yeah, like bars, and then they have ice creams. Yummy. I had the Crystal Blue Persuasion, which had blueberries in it. It's very good. We found our stealth spot for the night. I think we're around mile 1695. We're gonna camp here right along the river. End of day 130. We did 17 and a half miles to um, a stealth site at around mile 1695. Today was, today was beautiful. Like the scenery was really beautiful. It was the first day in a long time where I haven't had, didn't have wet clothes or wet feet. So. Most of it was through the pine forest. We were hoping for sunny skies, but still it felt like there was like rain clouds over us all day. So even though you're hiking through the forest, everything kind of seems dark. And I mean, honestly, to me, it was kind of depressing. I mean, you just kind of been hiking in the rain for so long. And initially this morning it was clear. And so I was hoping for clear skies, you know, sun peeking through the trees, the forest, but it was cloudy all day today. And it just, and for me, it's just kind of a, kind of a bummy day, but hiking through the pine forest was nice. <laughs> Tomorrow we're headed into a hotel um, in Killington, Vermont. So we're looking forward to that. We're going to have a short 12 mile day into the, the hotel. And there's a restaurant there, so we're hoping to have lunch. Yeah, big climb first thing tomorrow morning up to Killington Mountain, Mount Killington Peak, one of them. It's at 4,000 feet elevation, and so right now we're about, I don't know. 1700 feet elevation it's like a 2300 foot climb tomorrow so it'll be good first thing in the morning it'll wake you up and warm you up all right guys we'll see you tomorrow good night, good night.